Hi everyone. This is another What's Next video here in North County, San Diego. This is Duluth Canyon in California. Today is a Santa Ana wind day. It's nice and warm. I'm in my little shade cloth area that I use for growing as well as keeping this, this uh, little apartment that's next to me cool and also the back of my, my trailer cool as well and of the plants that I put in here from getting overheated when it gets real hot out here in the desert, coastal desert canyon. Uh, I want to show you today a new project that I'm going to do. Um, I think I've kind of like invented it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all the milk cartons that I have. Um, I have a very small refrigerator, so I always buy, like to buy the little half gallons. They fit really nice in my, my door. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because I've got a lot of seeds I need to get started here. This is the middle of January. I'm a little late getting my seeds started, but I'm going to do it today. And, but I want to show you what I'm going to do and later on we'll see how they work. But with that, let me get to that. So what I've got going now is a steak knife that's not serrated. It's a real sharp Swiss steak knife. A marking pin and a piece of garden tape. You could use string, it doesn't matter as long as you size it, to the bottles. Uh, the, these are plastic containers they, and I, I get the different kinds. I use a low fat, sometimes I get regular, it depends on what I'm feeling like. But these are what I'm going to do. I've collected a whole lot of these. Some of them have been in the sun and fortunately they didn't crack. I thought that they might UV deteriorate and crack, but for some reason this particular type of plastic doesn't crack. And I hate throwing them in the trash can because I know they really don't get recycled once they go to the disposal plant. They get put in the landfill, so I wanted to do something different with them. And this is what I'm going to do. I already have one made out there, but I'm gonna make one here for you on live video, or uh, on the video rather. So I'm um, gonna take the lid off, doesn't matter. Well, you can leave the lid on or off. I'm gonna take it off when I get ready to use it. And then I'm going to put my little band on here. And that's only so that I can make a nice mark all the way around it is so that the whole thing is straight and I go to cut it. And I'm cutting it just above the, the little mark or the, the label on this side. This side's a little low. This is about right. Just below where just below where the handle is. So you want it right about maybe an inch below the handle, an inch and a half below the handle. And then I'm gonna mark it with my pen. And this will be ready for the next one. Okay, I'm gonna take my knife. And because this is really simple, easy to cut, I just use a knife instead of a Sharpie or a, a razor blade. You can use either one. You can use a regular uh, razor tool, but just start with them in there, poke a hole in it, and then just go nice and easy. And they will cut really simple. Just go nice and easy with it and go all the way around where that line is, just above the line or on the line, like that. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm gonna take the lid off of this and I'm going to put it inside and there you go. The planting mix is going to go in the middle here. It won't go all the way out to the bottom, but because the bottom has this score, it won't seal the bottom and it'll allow the water to go into the little hole in the handle because I'm only going to fill the soil up to here because this is just going to be for seed starting. And then I can put the water in here. This will act as a nice little greenhouse. I'm going to cover them with little pieces of cellophane, poke a few holes in for aeration, and I'm going to use that as cellophane. So 
I'm going to do a few of these and then I'll show you how I'm going to finish it off with planting the seed and putting a top on these. There it is. There is a lot of old milk cartons that are not going to the landfill. Instead, they're going to become pots for plants. So we're doing a couple of these right now. Uh, what I have in here is perlite. And I have used a little bit of perlite like this. I fill up a little hole down there with the perlite. Make sure I don't have a seed pot in there. Then I'm going to put some of this high porosity growing mix in here as well. And then when I'm ready to put the seeds in, I'm going to use some of this, which is a, uh, a, a starting medium, a seed starting medium. And it's very fine and it has a little bit of nutrients in it. So that'll go on the top. So that's how that is going to be. And for the ones I'm starting today in these containers are going to be lettuce. It'll be freckled romaine and curly, uh, curly lettuce. And they will all sit over here on a board in my greenhouse. And this is where I'm gonna be working today. Now they've all got watered. I watered on the top, I used my sprayer, and I took the nozzle off to fill in the holes. I just watered it in the hole, and then I can actually see the water level in there, and if I look at it, pick it up, I can see the water level inside the container itself. So that is going to work on capillary action and water from the bottom up. And that should do a really good job. A little bit better than I expected. So that will be the end of that. Have it. These are all my new potting plants to start new plants this year. And I'm going to be doing a lot of lettuce in these. And I don't know what I'm going to be putting in those, but things that I can start now, probably poblano peppers, some pepperoncini. Um, I have a couple uh, passion fruit that need to go in there. I have um, bell pepper, and I think I have beets. Those are going to be put in all of these little containers. I did finish this root burl. It's real pretty. It fell apart, it'll all glue back together, but it's a real pretty one. It's not oiled yet but it has a lot of character. It's not quite a shape shifter, but it has real, real interesting form and shapes to it. And I'll be doing more root burls, so that's it for the video today. Thanks for watching.